Hey everybody, Tom Miller here with your tip for the day about processing emails. All right, processing. Notice I didn't say checking emails, I said processing emails. I learned this uh, from a great book here, David Allen's Getting Things Done, where David talks about um, your brain is not built to be a desktop computer. It's built to think. It's built to process. So we need to make sure that we, uh, that we keep it clean of all the clutter. And there's nothing that gets more cluttered than an email box. And if you're like me, sometimes you get a little bit anxious when your email box gets too big. So we're going to talk about a few action steps of how to eradicate this problem. Okay? And the first action step is we're only going to check our emails, right? We're only going to process our emails. Sorry, I used the wrong term. Maybe two times a day and you schedule this. And you definitely should not be processing first thing in the morning. You process first thing in the morning and you're letting other people dictate uh, your schedule for the entire day, right? I know that's really hard. I do it, uh, but I'm going to teach you a tip. Even if you do it first thing in the morning, we're going to find a way so it doesn't consume the rest of your day. And then maybe later in the afternoon you do it um, you know, one more time, right? So we're calendaring. We're being intentional about the time that we address emails. That's, that's our first tip. And number two, you know, when an email comes in, we have to look at it and think, what is it? Is it actionable? Okay, is it actionable? Yes or no? Let's talk about actionable. If it's not actionable, it's either going to the trash um, or it's going to a, a someday, right? So maybe, maybe you got a folder that just says, you know, someday, you know, someday I'm going to get this or maybe it's just for reference later, right? So three different spots. And if it's going to the trash, you have to look at, is this something I can unsubscribe to? And hopefully it's not my email. Uh, you may want to unsubscribe uh, from me after this. I don't know. Hopefully not. Uh, but, you know, so if it's un unsubscribed, take it out of there. Take the five seconds, unsubscribe it, and that way you won't have to worry about that um, email anymore. There's actually a, a program I just learned about called unenroll.com, and apparently you can uh, put your email address in there, and it will actually get all these emails that you've got subscriptions to and help you unenroll from them, uh, or just at least, you know, keep them in one single folder. So, okay, so real quick, so email came in, is it actionable, yes or no? If the answer is no, immediately it goes in the trash, or you created a folder for, you know, uh, you know, references or resources or, you know, something you might need later. Now, if it's actionable, yes. Now, we have a few steps here, right? If it's actionable, yes. The one thing is, can I do it in less than 90 seconds? And if the answer is yes, go do it, right? So if it takes less than 90 seconds or less than two minutes, okay, do it. Just take care of it if it is less than 90 seconds, okay? Because remember, you've already calendared this time. You've already calendared this time to be there working on your emails. Nothing else should be happening. Um, you've set this 30 minutes or 45 minutes or maybe even an hour to address your emails. So if it's 90 seconds or less, knock it out. Now, if it's not 90 seconds or less, right? So there's two options here. Um, if, if, it's, if it's greater than 90, we either need to delegate or defer it. Now let's think about these two terms. Delegate means that I've already, um, I've already taught someone else how to do it, right? So I can forward it to them or, or they already know there's some process you put a system in place uh, for them to already address it. Great example is all the emails we get from DPI. Um, you know, some are exceptional children, some are finance, right? So you, you can forward that to, or your, you know, to your administrator, you know, you, you're going to forward it to, you know, someone who's going to address it, says, you know, make sure you do this, you know, something to that effect. Takes 10 seconds. So that is a actionable and you're getting it out. You're getting it out of your inbox, right? Now, if, 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 it's, a, if it's a no and you got to defer it, there's two options for defer. One is we're going to calendar it for another time because you need some think time to get to it. And then the other one might be that, um, you know, I'm going to do it as soon as I can, so this next actionable time. So let's think about this. I could defer it to today. So I'm going to create a today folder. Create a today folder in your emails and just sh shoot it right over there. Or tomorrow. So you can create a tomorrow folder, right? Because maybe I need more information and I can't answer it. Or you might create one more folder called waiting. Right? And waiting might be that you were just CC to the email 
and you're waiting to make sure someone else addresses it, so then you can come back to that three or five days later and make sure it was done, right? So let's just go through that process again. The email comes in, okay, what is it? Is it actionable? No, then either goes in the trash, into my someday folder, or maybe a reference folder, just something I'm um, you know, looking for down the road. Yes, actionable, can I do it in less than 90 seconds? If that's the case, then I get it done right there, okay? If it's no, if it takes more than 90 seconds, I gotta defer it to another time. I'm gonna either defer it uh, to later today, to tomorrow, or to my waiting list. Now, if it's later today, and you scheduled 45 minutes, and you're already through and you got 15 minutes left, open up your today folder and get started on those emails, okay? The ones that you can address. Now, the challenge here is that every day when you wake up in the morning, you could do this. You um, click on all of your tomorrow emails and you drop them into today's box and you start the process over again. The whole point is not letting other people's agendas dictate your daily schedule. Very, very important process. So let's think of a couple other things here that you could do this with. This isn't just with your emails, this is with everything. It's with mail, it's with um, you know, stuff that your uh, you know, teachers or the administrators handle. You can create like a basket system, same thing. Stuff comes in, is it actionable, yes or no? When do I address it? And you're specifically calendaring that time when you're gonna take care of it. If you wanna have less emails, create an email like info at milleracademy.com and have all those DPI emails come in that way and have your personal school email for your most important for your stakeholders. Okay, Lots of ways to handle this. Hopefully this was valuable info for you. Um, again, Tom Miller, leaders, Building Leaders Executive Coach and uh, looking forward to, to our next time together. Bye.